Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm bringing you a video that is based around the shrapnel build, uh, build I covered about four days ago, I think it was. Um, I've had a lot of feedback on the videos, uh, you know, what to run, what to use, how to animation counts, all that kind of stuff. And I think I finally have a decent build going. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump straight into the DPS and show you the damage, the numbers, and then I'm going to jump into the mods and what I'm using and my cradle setup as well. So here we go. Screw it already. Yeah, annoyingly I've discovered that unless it is a weak point hit, the crossbow doesn't work whatsoever. So let's try that again. There we go. Molotov, axe, cancel, and fire. There we go. So as you can see, most of the damage was above 100k. The second half was just above 70 to 80k. So pretty decent damage all around there. What I am running is obviously from the first video is still the recurve crossbow with vulnerability amplifier. The last valor with shrapnel souvenir shrapnel. The axe for fortress warfare. I don't know if that actually works, but it's just on there. For the head, I'm using the beret with momentum up violent. The lone wolf mask in the full set with targeted strike. The lone wolf gloves with crit amplifier violent. Lone wolf shoes with slow and steady. Of course, like I mentioned in the previous video, you can swap this out for covered advanced precision. Again, don't, oh, sorry, covered advanced violent. I don't have that yet, so I'm just going to keep running this. And it's a pretty good roll as well, so, you know, it's great for me. I'm running the Bastille top with the crit damage enhancement violent. And finally for the legs, I'm running the Lone Wolf pants with Deadshot violent, which I finally managed to get a decent roll on. Or well, I say decent, it rolled with good crit damage. And then for the Cradle, basic stuff, automatic weapon enhancement. So it's a 20% weapon damage whilst holding rifles, SMGs or LMGs. Master Tactician for the 25% damage bonus after throwing a tactical. Deviation Master, having it fight alongside you, grants 50% damage against Deviants. And I've got Tactical Combo, so for 4 seconds after switching or reloading weapons, you get a bonus 25% weapon damage. Then you've got Deadly Combo for the 25% bonus damage uh, for e um, each weak spot hit. Steady Hand, uh, that one is for the Fortress Warfare bonus damage for weak spots and Bullseye. Bullet Hunt which is the bonus 25% shrapnel damage and shrapnel crit damage for 35 seconds after killing a target with ranged weapons. Uh, sorry, 35% for 15 seconds after killing a target with a ranged weapon. And then finally, Bounty Hunter, which is the defeating a marked target will give you a bonus 25% weak spot damage. Oh, sorry, bonus 25% weak uh, weapon damage and 35% weak spot damage lasting 15 seconds. So there are other builds that you can run with this. I've done a little notepad uh, document for different ways you can run this build uh, more consistent ways of doing damage you don't really have to rely on you know targeted strike and stuff like that with the bullseye but this is just going to be the build that i'm running for now and let's do one final test just to show it is consistent when it's all procs and working correctly So there we have it again, above 110k, holding steady at 90k, dropping down to 80k, and then finishing off just above 70k, which is, in my idea, perfect. So, thank you for watching, thank you for all of the feedback on my previous videos, all of those comments were incredibly helpful, even the ones that thought they were being rude when they weren't. I thank you guys immensely for this incredible opportunity to demonstrate what I think is a fairly decent shrapnel build. Um, after this, I think I'll be looking at going in towards the SMG that I've seen pop up recently, the, where is it, Outer Space. Um, I've seen some pretty solid builds running around that, so I'm going to see if I can make my own little build. Obviously, there's only so unique you can be. I mean, the shrapnel build's pretty much identical to everyone else, uh, everything else that everyone else has done. So hopefully I can make an Outer Space build that either stands out or using my own variation on it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.